Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, what what one needs, what you have to do to help busy working parents is allow them clear information on the front of pack, mandatory. Um, so you know, we are under EU control at the moment, and it's not totally clear. It's all voluntary. So one of the upsides will be colour coding, front of pack, mandatory. You know, on drinks it would be teaspoons and numbers, things that we know parents really, really want. Uh, but really today was also about now is the time for a sort of environmental, multifaceted, uh, you know, uh, mega pronged attack to protect child health. Um, that means everyone, business, the workplace, uh, government, schools, Local government parents, also has a big part to play. Supermarkets, local town. I mean, so I think um, we did have an opportunity to, to sort of give some of our experiences uh, and, uh, and for sure, I, 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 I think... Uh, well, I hope it was useful. But we live now in an environment where it's just much harder to find and eat healthy food than it used to be. Uh, obesity has gone up three times in the last 30 years. I don't think human nature has, cha has changed in the last 30 years, but the, the food business has changed a lot. It's got incredibly good at selling to us. It, 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 big brands have a huge amount of money to to, with which they use to persuade us to buy their products. We, we are being manipulated to eat a much less healthy diet than we did 50 years ago. That's just how it is. We have to find a way to fight back. I think at the crux of it, I think, um, you know, uh, we have an opportunity. I, I think if we're being glass half full and optimistic and philosophical, um, we can forgive Mrs May for what was, in my opinion, a disaster. And, you know, I was part of the creation of... Uh, um, the first childhood obesity strategy until it all changed um, so I know what was in and I know what got in um, so I think this is an opportunity to set the stall out uh, for proper structure and a proper environmental change to really help British parents uh, you know help them make a better choice and I just hope you know all too often uh, child health is put second to um, business and profits and, and, and I think we need to get that blend right Yes, it's incorrect. Yeah, it's not true. Yeah, it's, it's not true. It's categorically incorrect. And, and it can't possibly be true. We don't have a world-beating child obesity strategy in the country that's got the biggest problem with obesity in in the whole of Europe, heading that way very soon. There was only one thing mandatory in that first chat in that first child obesity strategy. Uh, I think if you like, hop over to Amsterdam, where they had a multifaceted strategy they were able to, to lower childhood obesity by 12% in three years. So that was the power of you know, really looking at advertising, junk food advertising, really looking at about how do you at a grassroots level uh, you know, kind of inspire and educate uh, local people? How do you stop the biggest sporting events being overtaken by all the wrong messages? So I think you know, um, there is versions of the best practice out there but everyone's struggling and I think ultimately it's never one or two things that are going to make or break this it's a whole bunch of stuff and that is what really we're fighting for at the moment I don't love the idea of supermarkets of the big supermarkets becoming fewer and one of them becoming bigger I think diversity is is better in that marketplace but if it's going to happen then there is an even bigger company with an even bigger responsibility to do the right thing for their customers and help them make the healthy choice the easier choice. Okay. Just giving them choice, you know, I don't really know. Do you have a chance that we'll ever be looking at the same one at the same time? Yeah. Brilliant, thank you. You're very flexible. Yeah, yeah I've been friendly guys. Everyone does yoga these days, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you hold it between, it's a good idea.